What's up guys, my name is Anton Suarez, and in this video we are going to be talking about Linux Mint getting hacked. Now what happened recently on February 20th, a hacker by the under the handle Peace took control over the Linux website and the Linux user forms. Now what he did with the website is he put his own Linux Mint variation that contained a backdoor called Tsunami N, and this put several hundred systems that downloaded this OS possibly under the hacker's control, according to ZDNet's Zach Whitaker. Now, this is a bad thing for Linux Mint, as it's one of the most popular distributions that people just starting out with Linux use. People who are switching from XP, people who are just got a new computer and they're just switching to Linux from Windows, this is the first distribution you go to. It was the first distribution I went to when I first picked up Linux. I went to Linux Mint, I went to Ubuntu, and then on from there until I finally settled on Arch Linux and soon Gentoo. Since these attacks, Linux Mint's website is back up and it's up and running. The forms are still down. This hacker was able to make copies of the form database twice and he's selling this database now on the deep web for $85 or 0.197 bitcoins. Now the forms was powered by PHP BB and PHP Pass to use hash passwords. It is possible to crack those PHP services, and it was. And these were cracked by the hacker. The Linux Mint design is based on upstream sources from Debian and Ubuntu. Now, it's based upon Ubuntu, but it lacks certain security advisories. Now, an also, another issue is that Linux Mint does not get the same updates as Ubuntu and Debian. Linux Mint blacklists some updates due to compatibility issues. Linux Mint doesn't want to be broken and doesn't want to, if they test out new updates and it breaks Linux Mint, they're going to blacklist the update. And this could possibly include fixes to backdoors, to different hacks, to vulnerabilities. Another problem was the kernel updating. When you use the GUI application, that's why I really, very rarely ever ever recommend the use of a GUI updater for Linux is because of this same situation here that the graphical update manager does not upgrade the kernel. It only upgrades applications and things. You have to run in terminal app get dist upgrade. It's right over here. And that is a problem. And that's a phil philosophical problem with Linux in a whole. Eventually we'll talk about that, maybe not in this video, um, where the average user, the average consumer won't ever use terminal while Linux is a very terminal-based operating system that a user not experienced in terminal at all will never run this command or never know to run this command that the kernel's outdated. How would a person who just came from XP ever know about this unless they were informed about it and i think linux mint should tell people to upgrade the kernel but then again that also kind of undermines the basis of long-term support where the kernel is not really updating because it's long-term support they're going to be supporting this version of the linux kernel for a couple years the main problem that linux mint has to tackle is their security now their website security is a whole other beast they they're not running based on a company. They're running based on basically don uh, donations and sponsors. They have some advertisements here on their website. And I, I don't believe that Linux Mint is backed by a central company like Ubuntu Canonical. I don't believe it's that way. I, I, yeah, it's not set up this way where this is based off basically volunteers. And when you're based on volunteers, you're not going to have enough capital to sometimes things are going to get cut. And there's going to be money, but there's going to be limited funds. You're not a corporation, and you're not going to be able to just fix security with the flip of a switch. There's ways to do it, and they have to figure that out. There's going to be a, they're going to have to figure out how to get security boosted on their website and boosted on the actual ISO image where this person, this hacker, was able to create their own Linux Mint image and install it with the back door, have a put put a back door in this. And that's scary in a way. That is kind of scary that you could be downloading an ISO image and it has a back door in it. You would never know, especially coming it from the official Linux Mint website. Now they even have a post on their own website about the beware of hacked ISO images that if you downloaded Linux Mint on February 20th, please re-download Linux Mint as it, you could have the infected version and you don't want to install that where the hacker will have control over your um, installation. How much control? That's to be seen. They don't know. 
So what this shows is that Linux isn't impervious, and it has never been impervious. The more users Linux gets, the more possibly a target it is. And since Linux is taking over the server space, it's even more a target now than it's ever been before. Software is made by humans, there's going to be human error. Another recent uh, problem was with libgra uh, libgraphite. Libgraphite is a font used in Linux, and it's used in Firefox, it's used in LibreOffice and other major applications, and it has a major vulnerability in it that allows for unauthorized code to be executed if you are able to uh, execute this type of font. Post, I'll put this in the description below as well for you to take a look. But Linux is not impervious. Go Talos posted this that they found the vulnerability, and it affects versions 11 to 42 of Firefox. So we're talking almost 30 plus versions of Firefox affected by this libgraphite font that's able to do bad things if used in a certain way. So Linux is not impervious, and I believe that one day we'll see virus protection for Linux. As Linux gets more popular, as more people jump ship to Linux, there's going to be bad people who come with us, and there's going to be people who want to harvest data, get your information, things like that. So that's going to be it for this video. I have a new layout, as you probably saw from the beginning of the video. been playing around with some layout. So this is going to be the layout for the foreseeable future, kind of the 2016 update to the layout, which I never really did. I felt that the update, the layout needed an upgrade, so I did it. There's some on the bottom bar. There's some interests I have. Ruby's on Rails is one of them. I'm going to add things as it goes. I might just add some new interests, and you'll see them change as time goes on. So what do you think about Linux Mint's website getting hacked and hacked ISOs being uploaded onto the website and people possibly downloading them and a hacker having control over those installations? Leave it in the comment section below. I'll make sure to get back to you. As always, my name's Anton Suarez. Please rate, like, and subscribe. And I will see you guys in the next video.